this is lovely. Look at this. Mm, I love it. I love change. Oh my gosh, look at that. Some people are afraid of it. I love change. Look at this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. This is awesome. Yeah, look at all the snow. Nobody's out here but me. Crazy me. That's fine. I don't care. I love it. Look at the top of my car. <laughs> awesome. Hey guys. Sleep Grandma here with you. I'm still working on this painting. I am finishing up. I'll just have to do the water and the flowers. I'm kind of trying to give it a 3D kind of look right in here. So I'm trying to decide if I should use red or what. And then I want to do the water a certain way. So I'm still thinking about it. Anyway, I like the way the top turned out. I love the sky and I love the girl and her bottom turned out okay. <laughs> I um, decided to name it Disconso, which means to rest. It's just like when you're swimming in the sea of life and you're thriving and then you just like need a break. Dude, just a moment. I just have to rest on this rock for a minute and then I'll get back to it. But let me just relax for a second. So it's called Disconso. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you guys today about, oh, by the way, if you like my videos, please, please give them a thumbs up and a like, and please make a comment because um, I really need that because, you know, Facebook keeps track of uh, if we, if our videos are liked or not. And so, you know, they could throw me off. So anyway, I mean, if you do like them, please take just a second. I mean... Every video I watch on YouTube, I always give them a thumbs up. Unless I really don't like it, I'll give it a thumbs down. But usually I like them. I appreciate the person's effort. So yeah, please do that for me. Okay? Anyway, I wanted to talk to you today about something that uh, occurred to me. I was thinking about how I act when, when I'm with my daughters. I have two daughters. Uh, three granddaughters. And... Uh, I came to realize that I try too hard. I think that uh, I pretty much try too hard in everything I do. I've gotten better at it, at not trying too hard, but I think that I still am lacking in that area. And I think it's because um, I want everything to be perfect. You know, these kids, um, they have their lives now and uh you know you only get se selected amount of time to be with them especially me because I live out of state so um whenever I'm with them I kind of feel like oh my gosh you know I got to tell them this and I got to tell them that and <laughs> I got to ask them this and I got to ask them that because you know I really want to get to know them as people how they are now where they are now um what they're thinking now I knew them when they were kids, but I want to know them completely. And I, unfortunately, I think it puts a lot of pressure on them. So I'm going to have to stop doing that. Um, even though it was done with um, good intentions, but I just really think it's not working. So anyway, I have to just chill out, relax, and um, try to just enjoy their company. You know, enjoy the experience and stop being so hyped up about uh, trying to help them, trying to help them find their way, you know. I mean, I don't know if anyone else can relate. I think so. I think that um, as we get older, you know, we want so much for our kids. I mean, good parents do. They want a lot for their kids. and um, But sometimes, you know, we can, we can overdo it. We can overdo it. And, uh, whew, um, you know, when they call you, you just want to keep them on the phone. But, you know, you realize they're busy. Of course. I mean, when they call me, you know, I'm real good about, um, you know, if they say, Mom, I got to go, I let them go. Bye. Okay, bye. We just hang up, you know. I'm really good about that. But um, I think it's just wanting to know that you're still an integral, 
integral part of their life. You know what I mean? You're not just an afterthought, and which is kind of uh, unreasonable to think because, um, of course, they're struggling to get ahead. I mean, that's what I was doing at their age. So, um, but I don't know. I mean, I... Um, I think it's more about letting go of the huge role that you played, that they played in your life, you know, when they were kids, you know, it was all about the kids, what, what the kids needed. Um, could you get the kids in this class? Could you get them in that class? Um, what were they interested in? You know, it was all about the kids. So, um, when they grow up and go their own way, you know, it's kind of like, wow, now what do I do now? Mind you, my girls are grown, way grown. They have their own kids. So I understand that, but there's still, when you're a good parent, there's still always that part of you that always wants to help, always wants to be there for them. Um, you know, some parents uh, don't want to be bothered. You know, they're just like, whatever, good luck with that. But I mean, if you're a good parent, I think that a lot of time you, you know, you worry about your kids. You want to be there for them. So I don't know. I mean, I'm just kind of a little struggling with that. Um, I'm going to make an all out effort to be more relaxed when I'm around them, because the problem is this. The problem is that sometimes I try so hard that I get frustrated with myself and then I get it causes tension. You know, I get I get, um, you know, like hyper or something and kind of bitchy sometimes. And I, I don't understand it because those moments are very important to me. You know, I don't get to see them that often. So when I do, I want it to be really good and memorable and good memorable, not bad memorable. <laughs> so when, um, you know, when stuff happens, it's just kind of like, oh, damn, you know, that sucks. And uh, I don't know. I just thought about that. I just, I do think that I try too hard in a lot of areas of my life. And uh, I need to uh, kind of slow down and, and um, take it easy, you know. I've been doing these videos for about, I think it's three months, and I have like 40 videos up. <laughs> so, um, yeah, a little bit fanatical on that too. But, you know, it's a good thing. I mean, these videos really help me sleep, and uh, I really love making them. So, that's all fine and dandy. Um, I just wanted to bring that up because... I was wondering if anyone else out there was struggling. You know, I'm 63 years old. My daughters are in their 40s. Then I have a, a 20, early 40s. <laughs> I have a 25-year-old granddaughter, a 18-year-old, and a 7-year-old. So it's kind of like, you know, I'm way into the being by myself thing. And I don't really get lonely because I, you know, pray a lot and I just do my thing, you know. That's fine, but, you know, I'm always trying to find areas I can work on. I'm always trying to find areas I can work on to make things better, and uh, this is something I'm going to work on. I'm not trying so hard. Just relaxing more and just being more centered. You know, sometimes I try to be too witty. Sometimes I try, you know, to probe too much because I really want to know who they are now, but you know, sometimes it makes it uncomfortable. So I have to realize that and, uh, and act accordingly. So I don't know about this island, but anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm wondering if any of you are struggling. I sure would appreciate your comments. And, uh, that's all for now, guys. Just think about it. Trying too hard. What happens when I try too hard? What happens is that for me, I end up frustrated and uh feel bad because I think what well, did I like why did I act that way or whatever so um think about it you know just something for you to to think about I when thoughts come to my mind I like to uh, make a video about them because I want to know if anybody else is feeling the same thing so and some I mean, I'm hoping that somebody is that way I can they can have some comfort to know you're not crazy it happens so anyway, guys, much love, and uh, I'll be making a video later on today about kind of relaxing, okay?
All right, much love. Now, you know I had to add something. You know, guys, in previous videos, I've said that I don't care what anyone thinks about me and um, I don't care what they say about me. Well, my children and my grandchildren and my godchildren are the exceptions to those rules. Um, because they are part of my private life. You know, I don't care about the other people because they're not part of my private life. I don't make them a part of my private life. But my children I do. And I treasure what they say. Now, can I control what they say behind my back? No. If they don't tell me something, I can't control that. And I don't try to. But I do, I don't want them to get, to misunderstand my intentions, you know. And, um, and I also want them to be able to come to me when they need something or to say, hey, grandma, you know, whatever. I mean, talk to me. Just, just tell me whatever it is, even if it hurts, tell me. I want to know. I want to know the truth. And um, if there's a mi misunderstanding, I want to clear it up. So the ki my children definitely are the most important people on this planet for me. And that will never change. But um, I do need to relax more around them and, um, and just let them know. You know, the door is open if you ever want to talk. But if you don't want to talk, that's fine, too. You know, because I don't want anybody to feel like they, I have any expectations now. One of my grandchildren had told me that she felt like when I asked her how she's doing, that I was um, putting expectations and pressure on her. And I said, I had to clear that up. And that was a good thing we talked. I told her, absolutely not. I said, I, pff, if you're happy sweeping floors for the rest of your life, that's fine with me. I just want you to be happy. Um absolutely no expectations. I don't have any expectations. My my only expectation is for them to find their way and to be happy and not to hurt anyone, obviously. But um, yeah, you know, I, I was glad we got that cleared up because I said, no, when I ask you how you're doing, I'm just like making conversation or just ask you what you're up to. Uh, that's it. That's that's it. <laughs> it's, it's no, uh, I'm not taking the tally. This isn't a competition. So, um, yeah, I mean, I just want them to know that, uh, that I'm here. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really going to, um, I'm not going to try to slow down. I am going to slow down and I am going to put, um, more balance into my life because I, I tend to overdo in some areas and not do enough in other areas. So I don't, I don't, I need more balance and I am going to do that. I don't like to use the word try because try gives me an out. I'm going to work on those areas avidly and chill the fuck out. All right. Love you guys. And, um, hope you got something out of my rambling. Alrighty. I, I, I focus on her butt here, but not because I'm doing it on purpose. Okay. I'm just talking and my arm just happens to be that way. All right, guys, take care. Much love. Appreciate the little things. Bye.